Hey, it's me again. Happy New Year to everybody. And this will be my first video of 2015. And it's something that I talked about in my last video. About not having everything that I needed and a little bit of an update. And I'm going to be showing you some phone codes as well, which is a bit of a difference. And something else. So let's go ahead <laughs> and start. First of all, um, is a little figure from NECA. It's one of these NECA stalers. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy and it's Rocket Raccoon. Basically, these connect to your headphones and you've got something a little bit funky. You can attach them to anything, computer cables, cords, lanyards microphones, even your shoelaces. So I got this little thing it's so cute. Next is um we're on to the Funko Pops. And I'll just tell you what they are and because all these were for Christmas for Tory so and this was a bonus one. So this is the first one is Superman. Great little Funko there, just fabulous, so that's Superman. Next is from Guardians of the Galaxy, it's the Star-Lord. Next, also from Guardians of the Galaxy, is Rocket Raccoon. Hope you can see him. Wait, give me a second. Two seconds. That's better. So we'll start again. Rocket Raccoon Scaler. <laughs> Superman Funko with the better light. Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. In light. And of course, Rocket Raccoon. So you're probably thinking, has she only got them three? Nope, I've got loads more. Next is from Beauty and the Beast. It's Mrs. Pot and Chip. Next is from Frozen. It's Olaf. Next is Dumbo. <laughs> You can see them much better now. Next is E.T. Next sorry, is Cogsware. Next I've got is Robin Hood. From Disney Robin Hood. Next is Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is totally amazing. Next from Beauty and the Beast is Lumiere. Next is Hamfro from Thundercats. Next is a rare one that I got from Sheffield for Tory for Christmas. It's a unicorn with skulls, which is amazing. Next box. Next is Lillian Vess. Next from Guardians of the Galaxy is Gamora. Next is Rey Mysterio. 
which I've shown you this before on Instagram, which I did get before Christmas for it. So, showing you that again. Next is Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. I have Drax coming, it's on its way. Next is Hatsune Miku. If you don't recognise who this person is, she is a virtual star on YouTube. I had to get her. It's just about Next is Tinkerbell. Next is Kristoff from Frozen. Next is Peasant Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Next is, of course, Minnie Mouse, which is so sweet. Next is Kagamine Rin from the Hatsune Miku series, which is the Kag this is Kagamine Rin. Rin, Rin. She's she looks fab. And last one for now from the series is Kagamine Lin. So in total I've got twenty four well, 25 Funkos so far in the collection, but she has a total of 31. Sorry. So she has a total of 31. I'm just putting bags away. Now, once you've been through that and found out all the Funkos we've got so far, because we're going to start collecting Funkos, so... You'll be seeing more fun coups soon and updates and all that. And we're on to the nitty gritty, we're on to the DVD and Blu ray update haul, mine and Peter's finally from Christmas. But this first one is Tories, which I got for there as an extra Christmas present. Um, to explain more about this, um, when I was a kid growing up, I was best friends with somebody and she got me into this and I've been hooked ever since and now I've got Tori into it and it is of course the singing girl, this, but this was the Christmas party. Some great songs on it. Everybody can join in, adults, children alike, don't, don't hate, appreciate, appreciate good kids DVDs. So that's the front, the back, spine, and the disc. So that's that out the way. Now we're on to Peter's. And I will unbox these as well. So you'll have an idea. Um, this is the complete first and second series of Add Me The Same Pet. Um, totally amazing series. It's got Tim Healy, Kevin Waitley, Jimmy Nail, Gary Holton, Pat Roach, the late great Pat Roach, Timothy Spall, and Christopher Fairbank. This is one of the most classic series ever. So, let's unbox this. So, front, back, side. Nail clippers has gone on the floor. <laughs> Plastic. Thumbs away. So it is properly out of its plastic wrapper. Front. Back. Sides. The discs. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight discs in that. And that was Alvy's name pet. Next one is, well, the next three are Steelbots, all Peters. And then the last three are mine. So stay tuned for what I drop. Firstly is, Ross has this as well. So if you haven't been on Rossy Boys 19's Facebook, then I'll show you what I also, this is the same thing that I got Ross as well. So it is Liam Neeson's Unknown Steelbook. Great. It's not only a great film, this is an amazing film. So let's unbox it. Nail. <laughs> Plastic. Ooh, oh, itchy nose. The box that comes with it. The actual steel book itself. Mint condition. Yep, mint condition. So, front, back, side. The disc and the inside artwork. This is region B locked only, so you can really get this in the UK and Europe. But it's a great film, so that's on note. Oh, sorry, um. I need to explain one more thing before I carry on. If you see me do this with my nose and that, I have a very bad itchy habit of doing it and I seem to do it on all my videos. I cannot help it, so I apologise and I will try not to do it again after this. It's just, it's annoying and it does get to me a bit when I'm doing my video, so I apologise. Next one is another Liam Neeson film. But it's a western, and it is Seraphim Falls. It's also region B locked, so let's take it off. <laughs> yep, take the wrapper off. One film I cannot wait to watch. The the only thing I hate about this, right? When you get a steel book, I hate the sticky tape on it. I absolutely cannot stand it. I don't mind when you can just peel them off, like the one I did with the unknown, but I hate doing this because it's just annoying. It really does annoy me, and I think it spoils the steel book in a way. I wish I can just take it off. Yeah. Yeah, I can take it off. So it's taken me about 10 seconds to do all this before I get to the steel book, which is mad. So anyway, that's the back of it. Which brings me onto the steel book, which is looks phenomenal. The front. The back. Disc looks amazing. Inside artwork. That is just classic. Classic draw scene where they're ready to just pull the weapons and fire at each other. Amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch this. I may do, I may, I'm not 100% certain, so don't bug me and ask me, but I may do a Liam Neeson re review month where I review, well, I'll review all the films that I own of them. Which brings me on to the last one of Peter's Presents and Steelbook. Also, a Liam Neeson film, non-stop. Uh, 
so just before I open this I do have a quick question concerning Liam Neeson um, I've just seen the trailer for Taken 3 I am blown away by it so I'm just wondering if anybody sorry again if anybody is going to go and see it in the cinema or is going to like get it on DVD or Blu-ray let me know and let me know your thoughts about Taken Free. Anyway, plastic, thumbs away. <laughs> Need my drink. My nectar of today summer fruits juice drink with coconut water. Only 33 calories per carton. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not advertising, just wanted to say that. The same with the unknown, it just slips off easily the card for it. This is the front. A back nice picture of Liam Neeson. Disc. And that. So that's all Peter's done out the way and Tories. Now we get on to mine. I have one Blu-ray, one Steelbook and a very, very limited edition of the last one. And I will talk more about that when we get to it. Firstly, we'll go on to the Blu-ray. As you know, I am a massive Dwayne Johnson fan. And of course, I had to get Hercules, didn't I? With the slip. So, that is the front and the back of the slip. It's easy to do it this way. <laughs> it takes less time. Oh yeah, and the non-stop is also region B as well. Forgot to mention that. This is... I don't know what region this is. Plastic bombs away. Let's check on the box. Doesn't say. That is weird that. Usually it says region B or whatever. But it doesn't it doesn't even give you a region at all. So anyway. This is the front, it's the back, spine, and there's no inside artwork, it's just one of them, sh see, blank, and blank disc. It doesn't even say on the disc either, so I wouldn't even know, I wouldn't, so if I wanted to buy somebody this that we lived in Canada or the US or wherever, I wouldn't have a clue. So, and this I will possibly do a review on later on. So, because you're going to get all sorts in this video as well. So, so that's the Blu ray out the way. Steelbook. Um, one of the most funniest films that I've seen in a long, long time. This is actually based in Tridjosh's hometown of Sheffield. <laughs> and this is region free, so I can get this, whoever wants to watch it. It is The Full Monty. Now, I got this as one of my Black Friday purchases, but it didn't come till later. Um... This was originally £25 and I got this for 9 99 So I'm a bargain free. <laughs> so let's unbox it. So I decided I'll have it for Christmas instead <laughs> because it didn't come on Black Friday. So plastic. Bombs away. Now let me get this out. So that's the bottom of the light and then that's the zipper at the back. 
and this is the steel book. It's an, it's a nice steel book. Don't get me wrong. It's the letters are embossed, and these are embossed, and that's just normal. So that's the spine, and that's the back. Disc and then the inside artwork. So that was the full Monty steel walk. Um, before I get on to the last one, because I'm so excited about that, I am stoked because it is a limited edition. I don't know what number I got, but. It's a hundred percent certified a limited edition. There's only I think there was a thousand copies made of it. Um also before I do that, I've got some I've ordered some more steel books and a couple of Blu-rays. So they should be here in the next couple of days. So when they come they'll be unboxing and stuff like that. So what you've all been waiting for right i can talk about it right i first watched i saw loads of people having this on dvd right and everyone was talking about it giving it a good review and that sorry needed to drink here and i was wondering because it was like earlier last year and I so I checked it out on YouTube whether don't get the thing is with the second one I'm a bit I, I like it don't get me wrong but it's alright but I prefer the first and the first goes on Amazon and eBay at ridiculous prices just for the DVD now I just went and had a look tonight on Amazon for this. Now Amazon wanting £25 for this. I got this for £14.99. I pre-ordered it to make sure I had it in my collection. As you know I do collect disturbing horror films and I needed this in my collection. And to have it as a Blu-ray is an amazing amazing plus. And I just love, I love the, the inside artwork, but when I said to you on my last video I couldn't show it to children, there's a reason why, and this is why. You cannot show that to children, can you? You cannot let a child watch that or somebody under the age of 18. Even my partner didn't really like the cover, but I do, I think it's boss. And of course I'm on about necromantic. If you don't know what necromantic means, necromantic means you have sex with a dead person and that's what the film's about. So it's disturbing as fuck when you say that word. I but to some people oh it's not disturbing but this to me it is a disturbing film but one I cannot wait to watch again. But the second one was a real slow burner. It took about me, it, it took about 20 minutes to half an hour to get into the film. So anyway, enough about the second one, we're talking about this. This, it says at the back, death is just the beginning. It has three disc director approved limited edition contents. Disc one is the Blu-ray, disc two is the DVD. And it's got Necromantic and George, George But Get It short films. And then this three has the soundtrack. And then a 100 page book, Romance is Dead. So that's the back. So now we'll just show you. This is what comes inside. That's Necromantic, released by Arrow Video, which happens to be one of my favourites. What I'm going to do is, if the, some of the pictures are a bit too 
nude or a bit too crazy I won't show them but there's no nudity on that one so this is what you get in the pack one of the scenes from the film uh, I have to cover that over that's basically his penis <laughs> where my finger is where he's just killed himself And there's that, there's a penis there as well and cover another bit. Oh, I didn't even quite cover that. <laughs> so you probably saw that. There's the girl on top of the dead skull. And then there's that. So you got quite a few pictures of it and then this is from the original. Oh, yep. I thought it was a thousand. Now it's three thousand, and I got number two thousand eight hundred and ninety-nine. Don't know if you can see that. So this is a limited edition, and this is like the certificate of authenticity. I don't know if there's anything else in here. This is the Blu-ray of the disc. This is the DVD version. And then, then that's disc three. That's the soundtrack. And that's what inside looks like. So I am amazed to have something finally in my collection that I can go, right, I have a limited edition of. So that's how it all shapes out to be with the certificate, the little photos and then the three discs but that's not all that comes with it. There's a book, <laughs> meant to cover that. It's basically a hundred page book of the film and Who's in the um, the film, and it did it come out in nineteen eighty seven. Don't know whether I can show this one. So that's part of the film. At least the clothed. <laughs> Don't know what else there is. There's a cat in the book as well. <laughs> Just seeing if there's anything else that I can show. What? Yeah. And there's another scene from the film as well. So all in all, it's a good. It it'll be a good read, and it's a good little addition to have. And for fifteen pound, it's a great price because you're getting three discs. So I'm gonna put it back. So you get it in a nice little collection. So this has gone on now for 29 minutes. And 
I've shown you everything I've got in my... Well, I meant, I meant to have done this last year, but I've done it instead this year. And... I'm pleased with what I've got. And... I'm going to end it here because I need to do one more video. So... Stay gory and have unpleasant dreams. Ta-ta for now and Happy New Year.